and Zach are going for legalization of marijuana because it has great benefits for our country. It can help with diseases, has more advantages than disadvantages. Um, and prohibiting weed is like taking away our personal freedom. And countries are we're supposed to respect our individual freedom, so the fact that we should legalize it would give us more individual freedom in our country. Um, which is a huge part why I think Trudeau wants marijuana legalized because he wants the best for our country. Um, the amount of people that voted for him support him, which shows he cares for our country. And looking at the facts of marijuana, it will do a great deal for us in the positive end. Airplane has a lot of medical uses. <laughs> and people won't believe me when I say that. But things such as the assassin of use can also help somebody's creativity up. You know, it makes them think more, act more, be more. Okay. Open statement or something. Okay. So uh, if you were to sell marijuana, uh, chronic in a store, uh, there would definitely be a crime rate. People would do anything to steal the herb from that store. And uh, driving after you smoke the Ranky Danky <laughs> is, uh, is a, it doubles your chances of getting in a wreck. And um, after you smoke the broccoli, there's a better chance you will decide to drink. In Colorado, they sell four times more beer than any other state because of the Grim Reaper. <laughs> And, and the truth is, marijuana probably isn't going to kill you, or may, is, is it going to make you kill people or make you fund terrorist groups? Um, but it makes you feel fine with being bored. It makes you feel like you have to take it to do creative things, as you just stated. Um, and by doing that, you just kind of slip into this, I need it to do this. And then you realize when you're not on it, you're not good at anything. It encourages laziness. Okay, sounds like uh, the opening statements are over. So then we're gonna pass it over back to Zach and Ray Lynn for your four points. it will go down because weed will be so much more available and users will, um, will save money and won't have to commit crimes to get what they need. Um, it will have a huge impact on the black market and drug dealers. It will take away a lot of the illegal aspect, which will just make it more, people will have more um, chances to get it so it won't be as illegal and bad to get as drugs are today. Um, so the black market will fade away We'll have a safer environment that way. And my second point is there are advantages and disadvantages to every drug, but weed has more advantages than ever. In weed, the high comes from a chemical called tetra, this is a hard word to say, <laughs> tetrahydrocannabal. And the pot potency depends on the different kinds of weed. So most of the effects happen to the brain we tell the brain to release dopamine, which is the feel good thing why people would smoke weed. Um, but that, so that chemical found in marijuana can stop cancer from spreading. Um, and marijuana treats inflammatory bowel diseases. Um, yeah, that's my point. That has been proven by many different things that AstroTurf does in <laughs> fact help you with medical conditions. It's been shown in the documentary called Weed that Aunt Mary helps fight against a severe seizure disorder known as Dravet Syndrome, where a little kid could just have random seizures at any time of the day. Just stupid amounts of seizures. Could have like six seizures at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Everyone knows Thursday is not a day that happens for all that stuff. Another good thing that Reefer does for everyone is that it can decrease anxiety attacks. By calming one's brain, the beautiful thing known simply as bad seed 
it will help you decrease your anxiety by calming you with the happy hormone. I pass it to you, my friends. Okay. So, uh, we agree that there is health benefits to the stain, but we think that it shouldn't be used as a recreational purposes because if you're out in uh, public smoking the destroyer views, then um, your judgment and your decision making is slowed and impaired. Um, no matter what you call it, whether you call it the good good, the nicey nice, the yummy yummy, the sticky icky, it still does the same thing. No matter what type you smoke, it's not appropriate to be in that situation in public. You're putting people at danger. And, and there are shows that the that people like to both consume marijuana with alcohol, and by doing so, that just adds two things that both bring your mental state down and don't allow you to make the best decisions put together. And because of that, um, that adds to things like traffic fatalities and people getting into arguments that lead into um, assault and stuff like that. Um, it's just one of those. Um, and also, the uh, colorful Colorado has not been studied for very long. We don't know what the Mexican parsley does to you. Um, there could be lasting effects on your body. You could have lung problems or anything just from smoking the number 23. And w w with the legalization of it, that adds for m more possibilities of more people getting their hands on it. And a, a lot of teenagers smoke just cigarettes right now. And when you think of it like that, there's a good chance that there's gonna be a lot more people smoking marijuana um, because of that. And I mean, that's not good for anybody purely because as we know, smoking uh, leads to things like lung cancer and other uh, problems with the lungs. And when smoking marijuana, that doesn't change anything. It's still the same. You're still ingesting smoke and thing, uh, smoke into your lungs and that's not good for them. One minute break. Can I get you to repeat your last point? Was it along the lines of crime rates will go up because the legalization of cannabis tea will make everyone go nuts and try and steal all of the chocolate tie? No, my point was that um, with the legalization of marijuana, that adds to the fact that people are more smoking. And because of that, a lot of teenagers get their hands on cigarettes no matter what. and. I mean, they're just going to go to the next thing that they can smoke and get their hands on, so they'll jump into marijuana, as, so then... Do you mind if I... Like I said, my point was that uh, theft rates will increase if you sell the Nigel Thornberry at your store, but that's because there's such a small item that's worth so much money that you could steal Spider-Man's girlfriend and sell it for quite a bit on the street. But um. if we're legalizing Chicago Green, <coughs> then the thrill of the hunt, of the cess, will no longer be there. It'll be much alike smoking a cigarette, because everyone knows that, unlike a cigarette, the Christmas bud is illegal, which makes it more exciting. It makes it spicier. If, if you were to steal cigarettes, you can still go sell them on the street. So if you were to steal the green chili, you could still sell it on the streets, just for more than cigarettes. showed that the crime rate went down and that there's less fatalities. I think than the fact if marijuana is legal, then the fact that something would be illegal makes it more dangerous and people are more likely to steal because drug dealers need money and they're always hunting down people for money. They're more likely to steal when it's legalized in a protected area where they can buy it from. How recent was that test? 2012. So it's only been tested for what, three years? Most drug testing lasts or much longer than that, 10, 10, 12, 20 years, just to see not only how it treats the body, but how it actually treats the society as a whole. I mean, you can look at that with like alcohol and how that was when it was implemented at first. Like, I mean, if you look at it now, everyone says it's a social norm, but in reality, it causes a lot of problems that we don't try and fix. But, um, you can't have a point of saying missing weed with 
alcohol because cigarettes and alcohol are both legal things and that's just people's choice to mix them together, that's not a legitimate point to illegalize it because people are already mixing legal things. It's just statistics show that you are more likely to consume alcohol after smoking the wacky cracky. Um, that's <laughs> why Colorado sells so much more alcohol compared to what they even did before. They uh, legalized And the fact of that is that cigarettes don't impair you like alcohol and marijuana do. Mixing cigarettes and alcohol while damaging to your body, it's not gonna like add to the effect of not being able to comprehend what's going on as mixing marijuana and alcohol. But the fact that marijuana is so much better for you than alcohol and nicotine. Nicotine does so much worse to your body than marijuana does. There's so many health benefits for marijuana, so it's actually a good thing for our country. Nicotine is just all around bad. There's nothing good about it. The, so, the health benefit of jazz cigarettes are to reduce pain and to stop cancer, but if you don't have pain or cancer, there really isn't that much point, or there's not much of a health benefit to smoking the crazy cabbage. Yeah, but it's been proven that the dinky dough does help you eliminate nightmares and keep your metabolism at a relatively high state, meaning you'll stay skinnier and slightly healthier, and your mentality, will, though you'll be whacked out of it, you'll also have less nightmares because you'll be too happy about all of the things that you're doing. And again, how long have these studies gone on for, though? These studies have gone on for a couple of years now. Also, how many is a couple? Two, three? It's usually about three, yeah. It's um, still not conventional enough. Like, I mean, again, the time period that most drugs are tested before they're actually even given out to, like, the public to use as antidepressants and stuff like that is over courses of, like, tens and, like, five and ten years, because you don't know what the effects are after taking it. If you take it for a couple weeks, and then you're good, and you don't have to use it anymore, you don't know what the long-term effects are. Um, I found on this website, it was a patient that are using marijuana, like, their medical marijuana patient, and um, the ones that were using marijuana when they had cancer, it actually helped them better ahead. We believe that the legalization of marijuana would be a great thing for our country. If we regulate it and manage it, it will be safe for our society. Um, and it will decrease crime rates and decrease the percentage of fatalities. It will benefit people medically in a way of helping with cancer, Alzheimer's, etc. Legalizing marijuana will make our country a better and safer environment. Smoking Don Juan will help people with their medical problems such as epileptic seizures, which has been proven in a 2003 study that this does actually happen. Smoke, smoke your dank totes and you're going to have less chance of seizure. And again, it helps you be creative by m messing with your brain when you smoke that butterflower. <laughs> to you, my friends. So we agree there are purposes to it medically. But if you're thinking about legalizing it recreationally, no matter what you call it, whether you call it chronic, reaper, green, herb, hemp, stank, shrub, bush, carrot, kush, purple, slurp, rank, dank, candy, broccoli, or hobbit grass, it still <laughs> makes you accept that laziness is a viable option, that you can sit in your room and play Xbox for three hours a day. And you say that you can regulate it and all that, but and it's gonna help make the country better, but that's the same thing they said about cigarettes and alcohol. We regulate it, it'll make the country better. We didn't spend the time to watch this, or study it and actually see what it implies to our society. And I mean, there still are harmful, it is still harmful to you when you ingest it in improper ways. And that's the end of